Hello guys, that I do boy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make lyrics to appear in song. Now, this can be useful when you are live streaming or you are recording or doing anything in your church program. Also use it to put lyrics to music, to songs on YouTube. So guys, if this is of interest to you, ensure you watch this video to the very end, like this video, share it with your friends and family. So guys, let's go right into the video. Um, come to your Vimeo. So this is my Vimeo here. As you download Vimeo, you can download, go to Google and start your Vimeo. You need to download it. And it's, you can use it for free for 60 days. So now, uh, now you have your Vimeo. So you can also come to Google and search for the song lyrics. If you want to put any song as on Google. So you can say this one. You do this one by Messi Chingo. And if it's a church choir song, you can also ask for the lyrics of their song. Can you understand how the lyrics of their song? So when you are streaming it, you put the lyrics. I want to show you how this can be done. So for this one, uh, it's just um, a song by someone. Messi Chingo. So I'm going to click on copy. Copy the lyrics of the song. I'm going to copy a part of the lyrics of the song. Then I'm going to come here to my system and open my notepad. So here yeah, I'm going to open my, open my notepad, I'm going to click on open. So I open my notepad, this is going to appear like this for me. Then I'm going to just um control, cross paste it actually. Then I'm going to, I want it to appear in 2-2. Two, two. So I'm going to put it in 2-2. Two, two. So you can also make it want to appear in 2-2. Two, two. So make it neat. I would advise you to make it 2-2 two, two, so that it's going to be neat. So uh, mine is in 2-2 two, two here. Then at the first place here, you're going to put a kind of quotation mark. Okay, put quotation mark at the op open quotation. And at the last side of the two, put close quotation. So this is going to make them to appear in two and not let them, everything to, to get scattered. Up here with me, just put open quotation, close quotation at the beginning of the of the next line. So up, up, up here with me, just follow suit what I'm doing. It's very simple. Follow suit and just free to get to get done. Just free. So you can see I have not made any payment of any such. So I'm just going to come here from beginning to the end. So this is it here. Now all I have to do to, do to save is click on this file. Then you click on save as. I'm going to click on save as. So I'm going to put it in, in a new folder. I'm going to put a new folder in my new folder here. I'm going to give it, let me call it vmix and uh, vmix data data file. Uh, let me just call it vmix data file. So I'm going to click on save. So this is it here. Then I've opened a new folder. I'm going to open in folder I've opened. Then I'm going to give it this my uh my the song link I'm going to give it this a, 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 a song. Okay, let me just call it you you do this one. You do this one. By mercy, okay. You do this one by mercy. Then I'm just going to come here and save it. So I'm saving it to that place. So I'm going to click on close now. For this save, what I want to save. Then next I'm going to do is open your file manager. Your file manager. You come to your documents with your document. Then you come to the file extension. You come to your um the folder you just open now. In your in your, in your case, you might see just like this. You do this one. The dot extension will not appear. So you have to enable the dot extension. Now to enable the dot extension, you come to up here. You can see this up here. So if you're not seeing all this side here, if you're not seeing this banner, there's a dot up here. I hope you can see my you can see my mouse. This is my mouse. Come up here at the edge here. There's a arrow that is pointing. That just click on that. It's going to open all this ribbon. Now in this ribbon here, you see file, oh, share, view. Click on view. Then you just come to file name extension. Open it. Just enable this. And this extension is going to appear. Now, now if you not see, if you're using another version of um, Windows, I'm actually using Windows 10. If I version on window and this does not appear, just come, come here and click on these options, then click on change folder, then come here and click on view. Then here you see this place, hide extension for known for known file. Just en enable ensure that this is not marked. This is on tick mark. Then click on apply. That is if you are using other windows apart from Windows 10 or if it does not appear, but my window 10 appear automatically. Just enable this file name extension. This is going to appear. Then come here and click on the name, like let's click on click on name. What don't we name is the extension? So I'll call it S S um A C S V. You name it as C S V, then click on yes. Now you're successfully with name as C S V as click on yes. What you have to do is to come back to your VMIS so or these are VMIS. We want to import that lady straight to our VMIS. So to do that, all you basically have to do is to come here, click on add input. So when you click on add input, you see this place here, title slash SML. So I want to look for title 40. It's title 40. Title 40 is a song. You can see that 40 has to do with song black. So let me come with this one here. Then come and come here and click on. I'm um, going to click on OK. When I click on OK, so all I have to do here is to come here and click on data source. So when I click on data source, here yeah, I'm going to click on manage. Now this I've actually put this one. This this one actually when I was testing testing I actually do this one. So I can also come and delete um delete this one. So you not see anything. All you have to do is come here and click on this plus here. Um then you see this Excel slash CSV. So in this actually a CSV here, it does give me the name. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the name of the song you do this one. Uh, I'll give you the name of the song you do this one. Then come here and click on browse. So you want to locate where that is. 
you will know we have put everything under this folder i'm going to click on it again and click on open so it will be like this to ensure that i do not take mark anything click on ok so this is going to appear you can see that appear just like this you can see it has appeared just like this and it's amazing but when you look down here it's still showing text so let's sum that so you can just close this one or let's minimize it because we still need it um then here you can see data source now it is in none just click on you do this one we will be our data source now then you can see for this column which is auto leave it as column one select column one and click on ok you can see that it automatically appear it can suddenly appear now let me just increase it it looks so small we can come here and increase it i'm going to increase it so it can look a little bit big so now that i've done that let me minimize this now i can either to move this uh move this lyrics to the song now this other side is just like a song i'm using myself here so you can actually click on any of these one two three so let me just click on one you can see that one has already appear here so now i can be changing the lyrics changing the lyrics is simple i can just come here and in my data source you can see my data source here i can actually reduce it you know just reduce it to be small like this so when let me just play this one let me play this one so when the choir stars are singing or choir or the yeah, yeah, like streaming just, when, they, when they come to the next next news just have to select it here you know select it here and you can see everything is going to be changing just this, the way you want it it's going to change just the way you want it so guys this is how you can apply lyrics to music which you can when you are like streaming or doing any kind of you know recording and I, I'm sure you have gotten content in this video. And sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer you. So if for any reason whatsoever, let's say you mistakenly close um this this link is here, you mistakenly close the data source. So when you come down here, you see under this place overlay, there's an there's a thingy bar. Click on this thingy bar. You see data source manager going to appear again for you here. You can just reduce a little bit and also do the same thing so guys this is going to be the end of this video i'm then i do if you have any question you can ask in the comment section i'll be glad to answer you thank you so much i look forward to seeing the next video thank you take care bye